This is a how-to video on how to remove your mowing tub stopper. Our tub stopper is the two-plier method, which we're going to use uh, one plier to hold on to the top screw and another one to hold on to the drain itself. Once you unscrew those, we'll need a flat tip screwdriver, uh, a large one, because it takes a lot of torque on some of them, to unscrew the uh, screw that you'll see in there. Then you can remove the top and use whatever apparatus you use to pull out the stoppage. Some Moens, the newer models I think, use a, a set screw. So once you get in under the stopper, there's a set screw, you unscrew, and then you can actually uh, take the whole top off and you won't use the two-plier method. All right, I've got a couple girls that clog up the uh, sink drain. As you can see, I'm starting to pull the hair out with one of those little zip tie things that'll pull the hair out, but uh, I need to get that Moan drain out. Moan has a couple of different ways of uh, securing their drain cover to the, uh, anyways, attaching it. Uh, one of them, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to get under this area. Uh, you uh, would unscrew that. I've got the two-plier method one. What I'm going to do is hold this in place and use another plier to loosen this and that should screw and come apart. There's another mowing where you can't do that. So if that doesn't work for you and you start to do it, there's actually a little set screw that goes under there. You need to uh, find out where that is and unscrew it. This one is the two plier method. Now that this screw is exposed, you need a, uh, a large screwdriver because it requires some torque to get it out of there. And uh, once you break it free, you should unscrew. And then allow the drain to come out of there. All right, let's screw this into it one hand. I think I got Chewbacca down in that drain somewhere. Oh my God. Anyways, here we are. That's how you get the Mona parts. So now we can get uh, Chewy out of the drain. Usually it all come out all at once in one big long string, but on this one the pipe goes off at about 12 o'clock. So uh, if you head out in this way, it doesn't go straight down, it'll go off to an angle. And you can run this little zip zip grabber down as far as you can and pull it out. You know, I've already done that and I double checked that it's cleaned out, but uh, pretty much it all comes out in one long lump and then just reassemble it.